Facts First presents Abandoned Vessel That Washes Up on Ireland's Coast Has a Chilling Message Within It's not uncommon to find unusual things that have washed up on the beach. Some items are typical, like articles of clothing or trash. Every so often, something incredibly bizarre will wash up on the shore. On a coastal Ireland community, an alien vessel drifted out of the blue right in the path of the Coast Guard. The officers had no idea what was on this ship when they attempted to board it. The abandoned vessel that washed up on the coast had a chilling message within. Mayu County is located off the Atlantic on the Irish coast. Its majestic cliffs and rolling hills make it a fantastic sight to see. In the winter of 2016, the residents spotted something bizarre there. Now, at first, people in the area say the object was fuzzy, and as it got closer to the shoreline, they realized it was a ship. Judging by the trajectory, the boat was on its way to crashing into the shore. As soon as the residents saw the vessel, they didn't hesitate. They immediately called the Coast Guard. A team arrived on the scene to investigate the ship and bring it to shore safely. When they reached the vessel, they expected to find a captain and crew, but when they got to the boat, they were shocked by what they found. What was there was unusual to say the least. The boat was completely abandoned, and based on its design, it shouldn't have been seaworthy. Despite those issues, the ship was still heading toward the coast. This left the Coast Guard wondering how and why it was headed toward the coast in the first place. The crew knew that it wasn't a good time to ask questions. The ocean waves were rough, and they threatened to rip the boat apart before they had a chance to investigate. Before trying to get to the bottom of the mystery, the Coast Guard needed to tow the ship to shore so that it would be out of harm's way. When the Coast Guard boarded the vessel, they discovered it was designed for someone to live on. Now They wondered who would build such a ship, and where were they now? The Coast Guard scoured the boat for clues, and they found one finally. Actually, they found a man who could give them a clue. His name was Rick Small, and he was famous for building unique things. Rick lives in Thunder Bay, Ontario. In Ontario, he was famous for the things that he designed and brought to life. He even made headlines when he built a solar-powered bike and rode it from British Columbia to Newfoundland. He was really into alternative energy, so he wanted to develop his own solar-powered houseboat. He didn't just want to park the ship in the Fox Trap Marina near his home. He wanted to sail it. Rick used a combination of lumber and polystyrene to build the 20-foot ship. His goal was to cross the Atlantic from the marina in Newfoundland all the way to Ireland. Even though Rick did a great job building the boat and he had a solid plan, he ran into trouble out on the water. Rick informed the Canadian Coast Guard of his plan and they warned him that his ship might not be equipped to handle the unpredictable ocean. He started thinking about if his journey was worth the risk. When the Coast Guard spoke with the Canadian Coast Guard, they realized the ship did survive its maiden voyage. So where was Rick? What happened to the ship's captain? Some people worried that Rick may have fallen overboard and drowned. It wasn't until they discovered a note written on a wall inside the boat that they discovered his motive for building the strange boat to begin with. He didn't want to live on the boat. He didn't want to sail it for years. It was actually a gift. The note on the wall in the boat read, I, Rick Small, donate this structure to a homeless youth to give them a better life that Newfoundland chose not to do. No rent, no mortgage, no hydro. It turned out Rick built the boat to be given as a gift. When word of the ship got out, locals came out to see it. Several companies wanted to restore the boat and display it as a national landmark. The Irish authorities decided to put it in storage, hoping that one day Rick would come and claim it. Well, So far, nobody knows where Rick is. He's been known to live off the grid anyway, so it's not really a surprise that nobody can find him. The authorities are wondering if he was even ever on the ship. He could have sent that boat out into the water on its own, hoping it would reach its destination safely. Maybe one day he'll turn up to claim the boat, but until then, sadly, it's in storage and no youth are living in it. And subscribe for more!